these font awesome icons to be a tad bigger. So I will increase the font size and decrease the padding. Because if you look here, see, there is quite a bit of padding on those buttons from the button class and foundation. That's being inherited. You see, it's the actual button that has the padding. <laughs> padding. 0 0.85m on the top and bottom, 1 on the left and right. You may remember it goes top, right, bottom, left. And if you don't specify bottom and left, they are the same as the top and right. So I won't make you suffer through my experimentation here. I already have numbers in mind. So these are buttons specifically within this actions element. So anything with a class of button that is a descendant of actions. Oops. There we go. I'm going to give it slightly different padding. 0.5 on the top, 0 0.69 on the right, 0 0.5 again on the bottom. Oops, be sure to put units. Oops. And 0 0.64 on the left. M is a typographical unit that is equivalent to the height of capital letter M. And I'm going to change the font size to 1.2 rim, so 20% bigger than it was. Refresh. Yeah, that's not maybe quite what I wanted. I did not do that correct. Thank you. There we go. Now they're bigger, but they still fit. It looks like this is maybe subtly different from when I did it before because I think at the top and bottom it's maybe not perfectly centered, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. I like one more little effect. Let's say these buttons that are descended from the actions, when I hover over them, not when I hover over actions, but when I hover over a button specifically, I'm going to apply a transformation transform scale specifies a 2d scale operation by this scaling vector if the second parameter is not provided it is equal to the first so I'm going to say 1.1 that means 110 percent then increase its size just by 10 percent when I hover let's refresh the page Look at that. Yeah, that's why the padding's off, because I had this. Yeah. Kind of slick. Why not? Tell you what, I also kind of wish this text were white. White on green instead of black on green. If you don't care, that's fine. Let's... um. Let's actually tweak that button a little bit in our markup. Let's find it. It's the input, uh, the submit button here. Instead of the text, let's choose a font awesome icon to put there. I.FA.FA dash. Um, how about a little plus? I bet there's an FA plus. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Just pain plus looks good to me. FA plus. Expand that. There it is. Very nice. Now I really wish it were white. So let's say. Um, a success button that is descended from the element with an ID of new student. New student being the form. Do we actually have that on there? Form ID, new student, yep. New student, uh, and something with a success class. 
That's what makes it green. Let's set the color to white. I could also put hash FFF or FFFFFF. Since it is a named color, I'll just use the name. Refresh. Now it's white. I like it. What did we do here? We tweaked all of these buttons. That's a good enough commit message for me. Tweak buttons. 